But living in a little cabinet for the rest of your life, I don't know how people could just do that hella casually. I'll be probably bored, restless, and what if I'm claustrophobic? Later in the void. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Savvy, and welcome back to The Savvy Show. And in today's episode, we got a nice one today, man. This is going to be how to beat SCP-3008, the infinite IKEA. Guys, I'm assuming you guys all know about this SCP. If you guys don't already know about it, I reacted to it on the channel way earlier on. Um, go check it out if you want, but I'm assuming all you guys know about this SCP. So with that being said, I'm excited to see how they're gonna tackle this beast. So with that all out of the way, remember to smash that like button if you do enjoy the reaction, and also smash the sub button and hit that bell so you can stay plugged for each and every upload. So now, with that all out of the way, let's get this show started. Alrighty, how to actually beat SCP-3008, the infinite IKEA. Let's go. Hello. Welcome to Ikea, where our motto is, you get what you pay for, and sometimes a little less. You may think the greatest frustration you'll receive from heading down to your local Ikea warehouse is spending a few hours walking around the labyrinthian showroom, or maybe arguing with your partner in broken Swedish about the correct way to put together a Bjorkstens, <laughs> yep, or perhaps possibly. even needing to slide a piece of cardboard under the front left corner of your pack's wardrobe, because otherwise it'll wobble. But these are nothing compared to you getting trapped inside of SCP-3008, also known as the Infinite Ikea. Let's go. Not only can you spend so long in this eternal flat pack purgatory that your bones may turn to dust on the show floor, but the murderous staff, those are the malformed faceless weirdos in Ikea uniforms, will hunt you down and beat you to death for not leaving. <laughs> and believe us, On site. leaving is a whole lot harder than you'd like oh to think. Oh my god. That's why we put the question to you. How would you survive or even escape SCP-3008, the infinite Ikea? Oh, okay, so it was one of these episodes where they ask us and they go over the answers that we submit. Okay, okay, cool, cool. And these are your best and most yep. interesting answers. Connor Nolan said, with limitless refilling food and a vast expanse of Ikea toolkits and construction materials, the endless Ikea sounds like a pretty all right place to be stuck, all things considered. We love your positive attitude. What? Does Connor not know that it gets dangerous when it's dark? <laughs> when it's nighttime? What the hell? Connor. Sometimes having a nice outlook on life can make any situation, even being he stranded must have in a dimension full of affordable Swedish furniture, just that little bit nicer. However, if you want to survive, you're also going to need to be realistic. During the day, yes, the worst you'll have to deal with is getting lost. Yep. The risk of not having food and the existential horror of knowing you may draw your last breath inside an Ikea. <laughs> but at night, the staff will actively hunt and try to kill you. And if you're not prepared, believe us, they will. So by all means, keep your optimism, but don't allow that sunny attitude to allow you to drop your guard. Yeah. Or the next set of meatballs might be made out of you. Purple Panda Bruh. said, I would simply hide in one of the cabinets in the kitchen aisle for the night, then come out during the day for food and return back to my tiny lodge and then rinse and repeat until I die of old age. And for extra protection, I duct tape the inside of the cabinet door at night. It wouldn't be much different from my current life. That doesn't sound too bad, to be honest. But living in a little cabinet for the rest of your life, I don't know how people could just do that hella casually. I'll be probably bored, restless, and what if I'm claustrophobic? Come on now. <laughs> now that's a little more like it. It's not a bad idea to keep things simple when you're trapped inside SCP-3008. And making a cabinet your home is a good way to potentially avoid the wrath of the staff. However, getting a little bit of Connor's more hopeful mentality may also help. After all, why resign yourself to dying inside the Ikea when you can keep the fires of hope alive? Like the kind of flames produced by a lovely Sinlig scented candle, available at Ikea for $1.49. Is there actually really? For $1.49 there? <laughs> Dirt said, dig a hole. Just dig a giant tunnel system underground and put rugs over the Dirt. entrances. Have tunnels going to sources of food, water, etc. Staff won't find you if you cover your entrances. You might say, however, where do we get digging tools? The garden section, or just make them. This would be a long what? project, so you would most likely have to stay in a small base until you dig enough. Bro, what? I think this dude thinks he's playing Minecraft or something. There's no way he could just do that, <laughs> like, casually, or, like, finish his project within a day or so without them killing you at night. I know you could build a base, but, like, one, like, I don't even think they have tools like that to build what you're describing. <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't. Yeah. This idea tools like that. is certainly ambitious. Your biggest problem is probably that the only digging equipment available in IKEA is the grass model, a four dollar ninety nine cent three right, gardening yeah. tools, including a tiny hand shovel. <laughs> Given that the actual layout of the IKEA appears unpredictable and ever expanding, 
It would also be incredibly difficult to properly plan and create tunnels. He low key thought he was playing Minecraft for a second. <laughs> Even if you had decades to do it. Though, of course, maybe you're an expert tunneler. And if that's the case, we apologize sincerely for besmirching your honor. Llama fan said, I would make a wall of toilets and live off of crayons. We have good news and bad news. What, dude? The good news is that IKEA stocks the Mala 12 piece crayon you set, can eat giving you a delicious a variety of colors to try while trapped in the infinite IKEA. The bad news is that these crayons have pretty much no nutritional value. Yeah. So your flushing fortress may actually become a porcelain prison as your body and mind slowly give out from a lack of sustenance. Getting bludgeoned to death by the staff inside of your toilet tower would probably be a mercy in the end. Oh GW said, I would honestly stay if I got stuck there. With things like when day breaks over the horizon, build a home on the steel supports overhead using a pull-up ladder to get up and down and live as comfortably as possible. This is certainly a valid point. A number of horrific XK-class end of the world scenarios, like SCP-001, the dreaded when day breaks event wouldn't actually affect the inside of the infinite IKEA seeing as its lights function as a kind of internal sun. And if it's high enough above sea level, you wouldn't have to worry much about climate change either. The staff trying to beat you to oh, death wow. every night may put a damper on things, though. <laughs> Sanic the Hedgehog said, Sanic? I don't think the staff are faster than the speed of sound. That's true, Sanic. But there are also no chili dogs inside of the infinite Ikea. That's the mission to even explain how you could beat it. <laughs> He's just trying to state something. And that's no good. What? Kai the? Wilkie said, When it comes to daytime, I'd search for other survivors that are inside with me. I would work with them to build a civilization and live together. As it gets close to night, I'd search for food and supplies to keep us alive through the night. When it becomes morning, I'd clean up the bodies and search for more survivors. This is one of the most oh, tried and good, true methods of long-term survival in the infinite Ikea. Have you guys heard of Lost or Lord of the Flies? <laughs> It's not all easy how they explain it to be. However, as you'll find with almost everything in life, it is easier said than done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Even some of the largest settlements inside 3008 have been destroyed by careless decisions. After all your months and years of hard work building up fortifications, <laughs> gathering supplies, creating a new form of entertainment where you turn to Valjia Sun toilet brushes into puppets that perform inside of a cardboard box, all of that effort can be lost in a split second when one person forgets to lock the Carlby countertop fence and staff members come flooding oh in. Oh my god. Hazel said, If they had a Wi-Fi connection and I had my phone, food, and a shower, I would be 100% fine. And maybe a TV? Good news. Ikea has Wi-Fi and food. Bad news. Unless you can, by some act of pure luck, find the staff quarters, there's unlikely to be a shower in the building. Not a working one, at least. The appliances in the bathroom section are not operational, and frankly, they should warn you of that to avoid embarrassing situations. But enough about why we're banned from the local IKEA, because there's more bad news. Uh -oh. There are no TVs in IKEA, though you can get yourself a classy and tasteful Brimness TV stand, I barely and watch simply TV, imagine so. that the fake TV sitting on it is real. Or there's always the Devalja Sun toilet brush puppets. <laughs> Bob Recon said, I would dress up as an IKEA employee, and when the staff try to attack me, I just claim to work there. We think your what? heart is in the right place. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Who are these guys sending these in? I'm just not trying to be mean, but yo, this, this doesn't make sense. Bring the staff within 3008 don't look human at all. You <laughs> probably need to go a little more extreme to convince them that you're one of them. Just put like on the Grace and Kay. Grace and Kay said, I remember from one video about SCP-3008 that the staff are completely empty. They have no organs at all. So what someone could do is just wear the hollowed out staff as a costume to move among other staff at night. What? See, that's dedicated to the performance. True frightening that? dedication. Seeing that the staff aren't exactly crafty, this could actually work. However, if your disguise is good enough to fool other members of the staff, then there's a good chance that other survivors living in 3008 might think you're actually a member of the staff running around at night. And you may end up taking a Vorda chef's knife to the face. I mean, he could avoid that though, low-key. Just tell your, the people that you're with, this is what I'm doing. Or just talk to a group about it. <laughs> like, I would only do this if I'm by myself. Because, yo, if your people don't even know what you're doing, it's like being stuck in a rock in a hard place. 999 in the kitchen section. Random user said, As soon as night comes, I'd simply lock myself in the nearest bathroom with some furniture and cry. Then when the morning comes, I'll get my daily rations and the cycle repeats. Not a bad idea. We personally use this method in our own lives every single day, and we're not even trapped <laughs> in the infinite Ikea. Oh my god. <clears throat> Moving on, Chill. Sam Yates said, I build some sort of fortress out of big, thick rugs. The staff thick? could attack and break the base bud. made of wood, but you could easily punch your way through a rug? I don't know. 
Strangely, there's been very little research into that area, Sam. Perhaps rugs are the ultimate recipe for fortress structural integrity. Maybe all those kings and queens and dukes and counts were wrong, and stone castles weren't the answer. It was rugs the whole time. The problem is, if you're wrong and the staff gets in, it'll be the last mistake uh -oh. you ever made. Bye, buddy. As you die on a pile of Langstead and stage rum rugs. Pope Kool-Aid <laughs> said, I do Pope what any middle class American would do in that situation. Get my gun. Sorry to tell you, Holy Father, but they don't sell guns in Ikea. Unless you like taking your gun to Ikea with you all the time, just in case one of those shady, over Scadlig fridges tries something. Oh my God. Shrek's cousin said, Easy, just file a lawsuit saying that one of the employees injured you. This <laughs> might funny. get you a pretty happy cash <laughs> settlement from Ikea. That's funny. If you ever escape. And the SCP Foundation doesn't get you with amnestics first. <laughs> the staff, unfortunately, seem to have less respect for the rule of law. Mukau for you too said, talk about SCP-2521 and be instantly removed from the store. This would be a method to escape, hmm. yes, but we can't promise you'd like where it takes you any more than SCP-3008. Uh -oh. Tiny Sarv said, I would tell the staff that they should let me see their manager for the poor customer service, and if I die, so be it. Okay, Karen. <laughs> Let's see how well that works out for you. Ah, uh, the little known SCP-3008-3, also known as the Karen. Oh, yo! Oh my god! Is that an actual SCP? Bro, I okay, I'm actually on it, Loki. <laughs> on, this, on this episode, man. Let me rewind this shit. They actually gave it a number. Ah, uh, the little known SCP-3008-3. Also <laughs> oh, known as <laughs> the Karen. The one entity found within SCP-3008 that is perhaps even more terrifying than the staff. Oh my god. You can definitely try this technique, Please. but you can't promise it will get I want the, the IKEA side. Want. There doesn't seem to be an entity above the staff that is controlling them, or even managing their schedules and days off like Demon Dan's unseen supervisor. What the hell? But if there was, it would likely be something even more terrifying than the staff. And you would probably think that the staff is doing an okay job. And if you don't like it, you can take your business elsewhere. Mm. Dawawa said, I'd simply die. Hey, we appreciate your <laughs> I mean, honesty, right, yeah. <laughs> But we think it's generally better to hold on to hope. Try your best to survive and perhaps even escape this terrifying anomalous situation. After all, you're only truly out when you count yourself out. P&Q Cowboy Channel said, I would start to worship the staff and even give them sacrifices. This is definitely a I creative mean, a solution, cult? but <laughs> not you. one that no. we actually think would solve anything. Yeah. After all, the staff aren't actually sentient beings. They seem to act on pure instinct, attacking any interlopers within the store at night. <laughs> so no amount of sacrifices will ever truly appease them. You're better off teaming up with other humans and fighting for survival. Grace Ng said, I'll eat the monsters. They look delicious. Well, thank you for sharing, Grace. I mean... And as for the rest of you, if you ever find yourself inside the infinite Ikea and you happen to see Grace prowling the showroom near My you, God. then perhaps keep your distance. Especially if she looks hungry. If she's willing to eat the staff, who knows what else she's capable of. Bro, that's Fortnite too much. stuff said, I would survive in a weird way. I would die, then I would be out. While we suppose you How will survive be out of the infinite Ikea in a grim existential sense, we think you may have misunderstood the meaning of survive there. <laughs> yeah. But don't worry, you'll be able to learn about all that and more from our new sister channel, Words Explained. Uh, okay, I made that up. Oh Sorry. my god, I was about Mr. to say Mr. Heck? Derp said, as someone who has been in several Ikeas, never use the men's room. Ooh. Really? God. We're so sorry. We can only imagine the horrific things you've seen. Is it bad It'll or probably something? make 682 shudder and fear. I don't think I've ever been to a said, I would build a community inside and make myself the leader. Make people fight and find food on my behalf. <laughs> Nothing is better than being lazy and having people at your command. If you well, could command people, if you're charismatic, like, I mean, you act like you just lead just like that. <laughs> All of the strange communities with you. an SCP-3008 do require a leader. If you try to install yourself as some kind of flat pack dictator, chances are you're going to get yeah. overthrown during a revolution and exiled. At which point you'll probably be killed by the staff. <sighs> Keep message, it low key. Be nice to people. Kindness costs nothing after all. Exactly. And if you're going to be trapped in an Ikea with a bunch of strangers for potentially years on end, 
you're going to want them to actually like you. <laughs> Toxic Dynamics said, I would just watch the infographic shows video you versus SCP-3008 and do what they say. <laughs> yes, that is an excellent video oh containing everything you need to know about surviving your time in SCP-3008. I think we should all watch it and then subscribe to the infographic show for more great videos every day. <laughs> and of course, ring the bell to turn on notifications. That's the best idea we've heard all day. Oh my and there we have it, folks. Thanks I mean, to everyone cool. for sending in their thoughts and ideas. If you want to be involved in the next one, keep an eye on our community post for the next opportunity for you to throw in your two SCP cents. I might actually have to, you know, tap into that next time because some of these, some of these submissions are questionable to say the least. And in the meantime, maybe do your <laughs> furniture shopping online. Now go check out SCP-3008 Trapped in Ikea. Already did, but um, this was cool. This was cool. Hope you guys all enjoyed um seeing the breakdowns of these submissions. <laughs> They're more funny than actually like thought out ones, but um, that's what I kind of expected. Most of them were re really being sarcastic. I would hope they were, but um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember by smashing that like button, also smash that sub button, and hit that bell so you can stay plugged for each and every upload. And now, unfortunately, that concludes today's episode. However, I'll catch you guys on the next one.